Hey guys, today I am preparing some scalped potatoes. So I'm using the pre made package, I'm just adding the ingredients. So basically, I have a pack of scalped potatoes here. I need two tablespoons of butter, one cup of milk, and um, two cups of boiling water and mix put in oven for 30 minutes so I'm gonna use the half cream half and half because I want it to be really creamy and I'm using this Betty Crocker brand of scalp potatoes so let's get into prepping add in one and a half cup of water let's boiling water and that's one cup we need another half okay and a half a cup we're then gonna add a cup of half and half one second guys Let me turn it around so you can see that it is a cup. One cup of cream. Oh, let me just add the rest. All right, so we got one cup of cream here. One Two tablespoons of butter and a package of sauce. All right, so let's add that in. So all we do now is stir. I'm stirring in the in the dish that I'm putting in the oven as well. And so I'm gonna add a little bit of. Hold on a second, guys. I gotta add stuff to it myself. Hey. Okay. So I've added a little, just a little bit of basil, and. A little bit of uh, 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 go, sorry, garlic powder. All right, so this is all set. I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the oven now for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to get started on my meat. So I'm placing this in the oven for 30 minutes, uncovered at... 400 degrees we will be back in okay, 30 minutes. so i'm back and this is nearly completed so what i've decided to do is add some cheese on top and i'm gonna let's leave it in there for a couple more minutes let me finish this so i'm just gonna leave it back in the oven for a couple more minutes and then i'm gonna take it out and serve it with our steak Okay, so here I go. I have my tea bowl in here. And I'm just doing it on the stove. I, I was going to put it on the air fryer, but I decided to stay here. And yeah. So that's cooked in. I got my two um, pork chop that I'm going to put in in the other pan, which is over here. Someone's having a T-bone, and um, I'm going to have a, a pork chop. We have a pork loin and a pork chop here. And we got a T-bone on this side. So, let's cook, guys. <laughs> and I got some broccoli in here. I just put a little bit of margarine, a little bit of salt, and I'm just going to cover it up, steam, real quick, because I don't like my broccoli soggy. And, yes. So, everything is coming along great. Let's check 
I know it's potatoes. There it is. I'm going to turn that off right now, actually. All right, guys. Look at that. Mm. Licky, 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 licky. That's coming along great. And my son doesn't like his meat fully. He likes it well done, but not too cooked, overcooked. So that's his favorite. Okay, guys. So I'm now going to. Ooh. Add some onions in there and season it. I'm gonna cover this for about um, ten minutes to cook down. I wish I had some mushrooms, but I don't. So, and I'll be back, guys. Okay, so there goes my pork chop and my sirloin. I'm going to season this up as well. I'm going to go pour this oil off and I'll be right back. I'm going to cover this and let it cook. And then I'll be back, guys. Dinner is completed. T-bone steak, scalp potato, and broccoli. Bon appetit.